we will look at security issues in cloud computing in three parts. Part 1 is the introduction, we will talk about what is security in the context of cloud computing. Then we will go into the real security and privacy issues and part 3 we will also talk about possible solutions. Now let us look at how the entire thing runs. So there are at least 5 different models that we are looking at. One thing is I have a data center in my, in my premises, I am a bank, I have the entire data center in the premises. That means I will have, I will own the storage server, the virtual machine that is running on top of the server. Just to um, remind you what is a virtual machine? A virtual machine is uh, a, a layer, is a software layer that will basically run a software and it will give a view to the software that the entire machine belongs to, belongs to the uh, entire machine is dedicated to running the software. So, in a single server I could have several virtual machines, each virtual machine will running will be running its own software or each virtual machine will be assigned to a software. So, this is one typical deployment scenario of a virtual machine and then there will be applications running on top. So, if you look at the left side of the corner, it is basically that the, 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 the organization for example, if you say bank, the bank has control, complete control over what is stored, what is the server uh, they use, the server, the passwords, etc., the admin privileges, the virtual machine, the applications. And the network, the organization actually shares control with some network vendor because uh, the service providers uh, will have their own hardware and, uh, and necessary software infrastructure to monitor and manage the hardware. So, that is one uh, the traditional model by which data, data centers work. I could have something called, we could have something called a hosted model wherein you go to somebody, somebody else premise uh, or you allow somebody to come and set up everything in the in your premise. So, here the control of your hardware namely the server storage and network you could have some share of control, but it is it is not the server and the storage will not be your exclusive control, but somebody else will be maintaining it for you. And on top of it would be the uh, app and the virtual machines. So, so today uh, the, the model that many, many uh, institutions especially banks, uh, we will talk more about bank because we are more worried about our money. So, when I talk about information security, the best case study that will appeal to every man who attends a course on uh, information security would be a bank. So, that is why I am repeating bank because it is universally appealing to all. So, when you look at uh, typical banking institutions today, almost everything would be uh, orange in the sense there will be some system integrator who will be maintaining all the app, VM, server, storage, network, but the organization will have some control over what is stored and what applications are running and uh, what is the hardware that is executing these and the network, right. So, so these two are traditional models which does not in my opinion does not come under the ambit, it can be called as private clouds, extremely private clouds. Now, the next model would be infrastructure as a service, this is the real cloud that we are talking. Now, you see something in red, I am talking about the third uh, block from the left I, which is tabled IAS. Your all the server, your hardware storage and network everything would be under the control of the vendor. So, he is giving you as a service the infrastructure here. The VM will be a service which is shared between the organization and the vendor, while the app will be your own app. Whatever is shown in blue or green is the app uh, is, is what it what belongs to the organization. You see the legend down organization has control uh, that is the legend for the green box, 
I am looking at the last row below the arrow mark in the slide and then the orange box says organization shares control with the vendor while the red box says vendor alone has the control. So, when we move on to the pass which is the uh, which is the uh, platform as a service then you look again your app and service will become uh, shared with the vendor uh, the control of those will be shared with the vendor uh, uh, and the and nothing is completely owned by the organization. While we look at the last model everything the SaaS where the software itself should be available as a service then everything is controlled by the vendor. So, as we move from left to right the control of the vendor becomes more than the control of the organization. Right. So, in the first two there is there are spots where the organization has more control absolute control over certain layers and shared control in some layers and as we move towards the right hand side the, the organization has no control over any layers at the point. So, they are very nice diagram that we uh, that explains the the changing uh, control scenarios in organizations as of today. So, then now the question comes if cloud computing is so great you have seen so many advantages technical benefits administrative benefits commercial benefits then why do not you use why everyone is not using the reason here is more of fear right. When I look at uh, looking at the list of fears that could come I am always uh, reminded of one Tamil movie Tenali right and wherein a doctor asked Kamala Hassan right. So, what do you fear and he gives one big list I, I fear of this I fear of this. Now, when you look at cloud computing also there is a very big list which organization fears and that is the reason why it is not becoming popular. The first thing is that cloud acts as a big black box nothing is known to us what is inside. The clients whom you say should use the cloud has no idea and they come and start storing confidential private information. Now, we go back to our first module and say we want confidentiality, integrity, availability nobody knows what the cloud provider is going to provide you and we do not know whether the cloud provider is honest whether the cloud provider can be trusted right. To a large extent I will go a little more deep down we really do not know whether he can provide us that CIA that we are looking at for security. So, this is the first to fear for me cloud is a black box I do not know anything that is happening and now I am giving all the information right. Can I give can I not if I give what will happen. So, this this is how it develops we will now build up the story in a in a more detailed fashion as we move uh, now. Now, this is a very very interesting statistics I got it from internet um, wherein uh, several questions were asked about uh, cloud to many CTOs and CIOs and what and they were asked to grade in the range 1 to 5. 1 means your question is not very significant to us and 5 means your question is very significant to us and all these questions um, were posed and what you see here is the percentage of people who told the answer for those particular characteristics in the range of 4 or 5 who marked it as 4 or 5. So, we went and asked say uh, they asked 100 people about security Security, 74.6 percent of that people said that security on a cloud is a very 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 significant uh, uh, factor it is a very worrisome factor right. So, if you look at security 74.6 percent said it is very significant that is they rated in the range 4 to 5 the remaining uh, 20 25 are per, uh, rated with value less than 4, but the major population 75 percent close to them said 
security is indeed a very significant concern. Similarly, performance 63 percent said, availability 63 percent said, hard to integrate with in-house IT. I already have an in-house IT, now you want to move it to a cloud 61 percent, not enough ability to customize, right. I want some change, right. So, you have let us take two bank models, one bank is completely outsourced, another is completely in-house, right. So, if a regulator wants a change, the in-house fellow will come next day he can do it because he has the software development exclusively dedicated for it. When you go for a out completely outsourced model, then you have to depend upon the system integrator to give you that change. And he may have end customer, he is not, you are not the only customer, so he may take more time. So, so, so that is another thing, so more than 55.8 percent people felt, felt that they were not able to customize it properly. And many thought that on demand will cost more 50 percent start and 50 percent uh, said, so I go to that and suddenly I find it is not uh, no I, I some, some problem happens for me to again restart this in-house is going to be a Herculean task. Yes, I think 100 percent should should have told that bringing it back in-house may be difficult. Some of uh, 50 percent did not feel that right, especially when your business is not IT and your business is say banking, now you completely outsource and suddenly one day you say I want to make it everything in house. First and foremost I will not have the in innate talent within the organization to build up an IT from scratch. So, that is and 49.2 uh, percent told that regulatory requirements prohibit cloud, it is not really fully correct, but still there can be issues. And 44.3 percent said there are not big players already, there, so I may be left with one or two choices and today I will be the first customer, so I will be enjoying the first uh, groom, bridegroom there, but tomorrow more and more bridegrooms come there, then I may lose that importance. So, that is a very, very valid fear. Now, look at this biome Beveno, this is a very, very important slide which is talking lot about against cloud rather than for cloud and everything is a fear. So, now what is the see there is some these are all broad things. So, why I feel security is a fear. So, we are now talking about a course on information security. So, I will not talk about performance and other things but we will now fully talk about security, the fears, the we, whatever we saw in the previous slide, we have listed lot of fears. Let me talk about fears that are pertaining to security. The reason for this is I do not have control of my data, I do not have control of the processes, I do not have control of the services. This loss of control is one important thing and can I go and trust him? What is the mechanism by which I can prove that the, the third party who is going to maintain all my data, processes, etcetera is trustworthy. And now, more than one fellow will be using the server, so that adds more freer. Even if I am the only person using the server, my organization alone, then I am talking of several vulnerabilities and threats. Now, I am more than two fellows are running. So, what is the guarantee? This multi-tenancy model will will my thing may be will be will it be secure right so <coughs> so this problem exists mainly in third party management models but when i manage the entire cloud when when the organization itself manages the cloud it does not allow anybody else to come this already that itself will have lot of vulnerabilities and security issues but that doesn't actually as uh, this type of these type of fears. So, what I am trying to tell through this slide is when you move from a, a data center which you may call as a private cloud for all practical purpose, when you move to a public cloud uh, a sad resource, what are what are the new types of fears that are going to come up? These are the things. Now, why do you feel that I am losing control? What is control after all? One thing is, for example, one of the control is data mobility. 
what is the how can I share the data between the cloud services right. Now there are there are many softwares that I want to deploy in the cloud I really do not know which where which software will be running I know that it will be running on different virtual machines how do I securely move and there can be softwares which interact with each other right? your loan processing software has to go and look at the credit rating of your customer. Uh, it might be a reporting software your loan processing has to look at a reporting software. So, how securely data will be moving from one server one virtual machine to another right I do not have any control. So, this is on some simple example of what I mean by what is loss of control really I do not know where my data resides is it residing inside India or outside India or inside your country or outside your country. So, these are all very big issues and then very importantly some people now when suppose I am certified by certain agencies for example, there is there is a FISMA federal information security management act right. There are several things that come out of that like your ISO 27001 is your computer if is your security concerns of the government which comes which reflects through these acts and these certifications can it be uh, you know uh, maintained when I move from a, a private uh, 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 standalone infrastructure to a cloud infrastructure. So, this is another sort of things I trust suppose I have a FISMA uh, or, uh, or a certification issued uh, based on these acts I basically have a trust in my environment and when I move to a new environment unless this type of certifications come up there and they are also certified then the same trust cannot be gone. Now, this trust itself is sort of very subjective one one interesting thing is suppose we want to go and mathematically model trust it is very important to it is very important to look at a mathematical definition for trust because ultimately we are looking at a system and trying to prove it is secure formally prove it is secure. Now, when we look at properties in mathematics properties that are well defined in mathematics there should be some relations right there are a lot of mathematical relations for example, mathematical properties of relations trust is a relation between A and B A trust B. In mathematics between entities you could define lot of relations some of the relations very important relations are reflexive. A, a relation is reflexive on a set if every every element is related to itself for example, if I trust myself and like that every individual in this world trust himself then uh, then it is uh, then it then trust is a reflexive relation. I do not trust myself many times I do not trust in remembering my password I do not trust whether I will give a correct password that is why I have a assistant tool which will tell whether my password is correct or not. There is another relation called symmetric if A is related to B then B should be related to A I trust you you may not trust me. So, trust is not symmetric trust is not transitive also A trust B B trust C A need not trust C in one of this slide we will talk about transitive relations about cloud specifically A is a trust is not transitive trust is also not context independent. I trust you for something I do not trust you for something else right. Trust is also temporal morning I will trust you evening I may not trust you right. So, if you look at trust trust does not satisfy any of the major mathematical properties that will help someone to define uh, a property. Trust as a property does not satisfy many mathematical many of the important mathematical relation. So, it is very difficult to mathematically get a definition for trust, but ironically for several decades the whole uh, uh, world has been running on trust and that mathematical uh, so the, the lack of support from mathematics makes trust a very fearsome uh, property a property that everybody fears of quickly somebody will not trust especially when it comes to finance or economy 
it is very difficult for someone to trust another. Uh, so, for example, how many of you listening to me here will go and sign a security uh, in a bank, a surety in a bank for a, a person whom you know for say one month, whom you know for say two months, you just go and see. Uh, I do not know how many people will do that. So, in the next session, we will talk about more on this control aspect.